Welcome to Invention. I remain Brian Forbes, and with me is a guest who I can safely say is no surprise to me, or anyone for that matter, Sir Reginald Bohe No. Ah, nice to meet you, Brian. Finally. Yet again. So, Sir Reginald, <laughs> yes, I venture yes. you've been working on something since yes. we last met. Yes, yes. Well, I've uh, made the leap, as it were, in the area of privately funded rocket ship tours. Ah, yes. Well, uh, Sir Richard Branson has been developing a program where a private individual can purchase a seat on an orbital or near-orbital spaceflight uh, without a military or scientific background. Really? Yes. Recently, the X Prize was given to a private company which successfully launched a reusable spacecraft for commercial purposes. Yes, well, there's an intense interest in the privatization of rocket ship technology and yes. people willing to pay yes. for a private rocket ship tour to the stars. You see, my service is unique in that it provides a discreet rocket ship tour to the stars' homes. Stars' homes. Holmes. What type of rocket ship tour is that? Oh, it's the whole 4D experience, you know, Brian. Uh, uh, through, uh, through the lives, uh, literally, of some of Hollywood's most beloved stars. Um, you know, just as their homes are destroyed forever. Um, by a pressure-fed kerosene-oxidizing engine, which uh, lowers the uh, cost, of course, that's normally associated with throwing away a booster you know, that sort of thing, but does increase the cost ever so slightly of, say, uh, rebuilding Shakira's 10-bedroom home. Um, but you're still getting a once-in-a-lifetime experience of seeing a star's home before the home is gone. So you're essentially launching a rocket horizontally into a home. Or homes, if you aim right. Or homes of Hollywood's elite. Yes, yes. Oh. Bring a camera, bring a camera with a fast shutter speed. You can see Madonna's house at 0.3 seconds. You get the whole thing. It's all the thrills and excitement that you would normally associate with the homes of the Hollywood elite and also possibly fulfilling a lifelong dream of doing it on a terrestrial rocket ship. So this terrestrial rocket ship, as you're calling it, mm. uh, I presume is laden with passengers who've... Uh, spent their money to either see the stars' homes or to ride on a rocket. Well, to each his own. Uh, some are there, of course, to ride on a bona fide rocket, um, and some of the dimmer ones are there to see the stars' homes. Uh, but given the fuel and insurance expenses associated with this, I just, I don't understand. I do not understand the public's bizarre fascination with the lives of the stars. Uh, but as long as people want to stargaze, I'll be there with my modified Russian rocket ready to go. Yeah, what do you mean by a modified Russian rocket? Well, the Soviets have been selling me their rockets for months for a song. Now, are these expensive? No, they're not expensive, Brian. No, no, in fact, the only really tricky part is uh, disarming the warhead. Warhead? You mean your rocket could explode at any moment? Brian, I told you, don't mention my man junk in public. What? No! How much is the uh, ride? How much is the ride? On mine? No, not on your... Oh! Uh, right. On the rocket no. tour of the star's home. Well, for 45,000 American dollars, I could promise you one hell of a ride. And for 5,000 more, I can get you on the rocket ship. Uh, but either way, I'm not sure that will really give you a, a, a full sense of how the stars live. Lived. Mm. Lived. 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 So those stars that uh, presumably managed to get out of the way... Get out of the way of that rocket. <laughs> managed to get out of the way. <laughs> that rocket. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Very funny. <laughs> yes, yes, I'm right. sure you've had a lot of takers there. Yes. Well, I'm a giver. Syphilis, mostly. That's what the letters say. <clears throat> well, you can't get it that way. I'll show you how. I don't want to know. All right. I can imagine that those stars that manage to get out of the way of the rocket and live yes. uh, are none too happy to have their homes destroyed by your tour. No, no. In fact, I don't think it's just the stars 
that uh, have a problem with having a large rocket ship uh, flying through their home. I think most people would have a problem with having a large rocket ship fly through their home. Do you think so? I do, I do. Um, but given that uh, uh, Mr. Sean Penn, a very violent man, um, oh. yeah, yeah, wouldn't return my phone calls, uh, Mr. Fidesent um, wrote a harshly worded rhyming uh, email. Um, to some of our passengers uh, during our maiden voyage of his boudoir and recording studio, which is incomprehensible to me. Mm. Incomprehensible how? It's incomprehensible for two reasons. One, he's not that big a star. And uh, second, I think Fiddy Cent wrote the email himself. Incomprehensible? It was. Incomprehensible. Now, um, once your tour is underway, um, how, how does it stop? That is a question that's been shouted by many a passenger so far. <laughs> how does it start? That's yeah. normally how people hear it, especially the stars. I can imagine, yes. Yeah. Um, well, we've tried several things sort of on the fly, uh, as it were. Parachutes? Yes. Nothing. No. Yeah. A series of rubber bumpers. We've even tried ending the tour in Rosie O'Donnell's thighs. Uh, but ultimately, what concludes our tour is a combination of friction, Gravity and lawsuits. I can well imagine. Well, I'm afraid that's all we have time for on this episode. I presume you'll be back next week to talk about... That can't be right. <laughs> yes, that's an amazing photographic process. Yes, yes, it's glamour photography of missing children. Why on earth would you want to do glamour photography of, of, of missing children? No, 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 you see, the more proper question is, how could you do it? I yes! Mean, after all, how the could you do picture's that? already taken, right? I mean, there's the photograph. Let's face it, the moment is, in fact, gone, as is the child. Uh, but we've developed this way to create high fashion, magazine quality portraits for milk cartons, for flyers, for online posting, anywhere you're desperate to get the picture. It's going to be everywhere. At least have a decent picture is all we're saying. Uh, we have an incredible thing here. If, you, if the photo, say uh, they don't look as good now as they did in the photo, at least they know with this photo, they've got a good picture out there somewhere. It's floating around. As indeed, they may well be, you know. There's that bond, that inextricable loving bond between a, a, a portrait and pieces of a child. Um, it's soft focus, you know, very tasteful, makeup enhancement, the whole, you know, adjustment of the hair as the decades go on and on and you lose that time. But at least you know what they look like, according to me. I can't see why you would want to have a high fashion version of a missing child's photo. Let's no one can. No one can. I mean, let's face it. This is probably the last photo you're going to have of them. For a small fee, let me make it a good one. If you enjoy your short ride... Like Mrs. Forbes. That's my wife. Mm. Not funny. Mm. No, she isn't. Then you can book a ride on Sir Reginald's rocket. Like Mrs. Forbes. <laughs>